Welcome to the Sports Science Hub's guide to everything you need to know about the fundamentals of personality and motivation. We will help you understand the difference between nature and nurture theories, how personality can be measured, and the different types of motivation. Let's get started. Personality is an individual's unique pattern of characteristics and traits. Like a number of aspects of sports psychology, the debate about personality can be divided into two main camps. Nature, which argues that individuals are a product of their genetic makeup, and nurture, which argues that behaviour is learned through reinforcement, imitation of others, and general environmental influences. There are a number of different theories relating to personality along the nature versus nurture spectrum. Trait theories explain personality as innate and enduring characteristics that can be used to explain and predict an individual's behaviour in different situations. They look to label features of personality, such as extrovert, which are associated with sociability, liveliness and excitability. Introvert, which are associated with shyness, independence and quiet. Stable refers to unchanging behavioural patterns. And unstable, which refers to unpredictable behavioural changes. Therefore, a stable extrovert would be outgoing and carefree. A stable introvert would be careful and reliable. An unstable extrovert would be restless and touchy. And an unstable introvert would be anxious and pessimistic. Social learning theories explain behaviour as being learned through observational learning and by modelling our behaviour on what we have seen. Theorists such as Bandura also suggest that behaviour is determined by the situation. A calm extrovert may get angry after a bad referee decision. Interactionist theories are a mix of social learning and trait aspects. They argue that we are born with certain characteristics which interact with the environment. So personality is seen as a relevant predictor of behaviour in some but not all situations. Hollander outlined a series of rings to determine personality with the inner ring being the most difficult to change. The psychological core is the real you, your fundamental views and beliefs that are unlikely to change, such as what you deem to be fair play. Typical behaviour is how likely an individual will respond to a situation, generally representative of the inner core, such as stop boxing at the bell and role-related behaviours, which is changeable behaviour depending on the situation, such as hitting an opponent after the bell if they did it to you in the previous round. This is the most changeable aspect of personality. Another interactionist theory is by Lewin, who tried to explain personality with a scientific formula. Lewin suggested behaviour equals function times personality times environment. When situational factors are strong, for example an important competition, they are more likely to affect behaviour than personality traits. But when situational factors are weak, such as just a normal training session, then personality is more likely to affect behaviour. Social environment is how the behaviour and expectations of others affect us. For example, arguing with a referee because the rest of the team do it. Motivation is a cause of behaviour that affects the direction and intensity of an individual's effort. Therefore, motivation is directly linked to personality. How these needs are fulfilled leads to a continuum of motivations. Intrinsic motivation is motivation generated by internal rewards such as the satisfaction of learning and exploring something new through knowledge. 
the satisfaction of creating something new or task mastery through accomplishment, and the feelings of joy, fun and excitement through stimulation. Extrinsic motivation is motivation generated by external rewards, such as integrated regulation, where the outcome is valued rather than the interest in the activity solely for itself. Identified regulation are behaviours that are accepted and performed willingly even if the activity is unpleasant. Interjected regulation are behaviours motivated by internal pressures and external regulation, which are behaviours controlled by external sources and rewards. A motivation is neither intrinsically or extrinsically motivated. Achievement motivation is influenced by personality factors, the need to achieve and the need to avoid failure, and situational factors, the probability of success and incentive value of success. Thanks for watching. If you liked what you saw, then please help others find our videos and hit the like button below and subscribe to our channel now. You can also find us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. Don't forget to also visit our website www.sportsciencehub.com for more videos on everything you need to know about sports science. See you soon.